you loved when I rode across Japan. You were thrilled when I rode across Thailand. And now I can announce the final part of the cycling series coming this Halloween, Road to Busan. For my American viewers, Busan is in South Korea. Jesus Christ, this took 12 hours. Okay, let's get on with it. Morning, everyone, and a very warm welcome to the Promotimate, Pronotimate, Promote, the last but one episode of a guy who has practically made every cycling mistake there is, and yet still completed his journey, so there we go. Pronotimate, right? Ah, whatever. Rising before the break of dawn gave me a great head start on the day by beating that relentless sun, and I'd found it was the only way to conquer the vast distances ahead of me. The first mistake of today, other than once again having no food and drink on board, was taking way too long to get going. This was my third day of the adventure, and other than one meal and a handful of peanuts every now and again, the 200 kilometers I'd already smashed was really beginning to take its toll on me. This guy knows what I'm talking about. A sugarless energy drink, a very long chat with a really cool English-speaking truck driver, but it was only when the sky started to brighten up that I'd realized what I'd done wrong. See how quickly it's got so bright? Oh wow, what a total waste. From five o'clock in the morning till six. It's dark, scary, but that's 12 kilometers I can eat up. 10 to five, started feeding the cat. Then I went to 7-Eleven because I was out of food. <sighs> I've been up most of the night with quite severe hunger pain, so I, I really needed some food. Bit of a waste, really. I think I've done five kilometers when I should have done 12. Today was gonna be different. The place I was heading to was just a brisk 80 kilometers up the road, and given that I was coming down with a bit of a cold, I was excited I could relax at tonight's abode, as it looked like a really awesome luxury treehouse with plenty of activities and things to do and see. Of course, with my luck, it wasn't anything like that, but I guarantee you wouldn't have seen anything like it before. Still, that's not gonna make much difference if I don't make it there alive. Here we are, single lane of traffic, on the wrong side of the road. Trucks coming at me, and there's uh, God, there's no room for trucks to pass me, and I'm vlogging on my phone like a freaking idiot. <laughs> oh. Trucks one side of me, dogs the other. Right now, this is living. Woo yeah, I feel good. Just because I'm making this look so easy, you might be thinking to yourself, wow, this is super safe, and if Paddy Doyle can cycle for 42 minutes across Thailand, perhaps I can. Well, it's my duty as a world-class idiot to keep you informed that this does have its dangers. Having already cycled from Bangkok to Laos when I first arrived in Thailand six years ago, it struck me then, despite the heat, the trucks, and the dogs, they were not the biggest dangers that were presented to me. Go, 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 go! Keep going. Good. Good dog. Good dog. As I do my very best not to get stuck under one of these many, many wheels, let me explain to you what happened at the very end of this street. Oh, and I've only just noticed that I have oil on my face. <laughs> no idea how that got there. I'm assuming my chain fell off. One of the most dangerous things about driving on the motorway is the people coming the other bloody way. Case in point, nearly had a four car pile up. This guy's coming towards me. And I can see in my mirror, there's someone behind me, another motorbike, a girl. So uh, I move just out of the way. So all I can do is move out of the way of this guy that's coming at me. Then I watch the girl, not caring the world, just go from the side lane where I am straight into the first lane. The car in the first lane then nearly goes into the second lane. The car in the second lane starts beeping, slams on the brakes. All because of this idiot coming up this way of the road. Now I say he's an idiot. It's not exactly he's got many places to cross and lots of people go up this side of the road, so... And also the girl shouldn't have just flown out into the first lane of a motorway without even looking. <sighs> you gotta keep your wits about you. The 
great thing about cycling along a motorway, at least, is there are plenty of rest stops for coffee, toilets, and convenience stores. Now, I'm not saying that you need to do something this extreme. However, I am an advocate for people wishing to create content, upload, to share, or inspire others. The absolute most important piece of kit, based on my one year of doing this, is a small bit of cloth that you'd normally clean your glasses with. It doesn't matter what camera you have, keeping those lenses clean is absolute priority. Oh, and a sense of humor helps too. See, I don't want to complain about too much. Oh, but my ass. <laughs> it has lost all feeling. So as part of this Viking diet, I'll be buying an adjustable table so I can stand up while I work because <laughs> just as well oh god there is nothing worse than this but prison with my daily fix of caffeine well and truly on board the airbnb 20 kilometers up the road i was keen to crack on after i come back and got the camera of course with just a few trucks pretty big hill and then my final obstacle of the day was to cross over this motorway bridge luckily i love bridges however this one clearly has not been used for like a million years that's factually correct, don't question it. I had no choice but to leg it towards oncoming traffic and cut across the motorway. As if I'm the only person to have ever done that. And in front of the cops too. <laughs> they didn't seem to give a shit. Which is nice, if I wasn't like, what else could I have done, frankly? I got a helmet on, so you know. I'm a model citizen. We can turn that music off right now. So yeah, it turned out that it wasn't quite like the pictures. This in fact was a sort of family run children's home with over 75 children under the age of 15 staying here. Now, fans of this channel will know that I'll do whatever I can to help whenever I can. So I met with one of the sons who worked there. His name was Tiger. And after a shower, he took me over to 7-Eleven so I could buy them like a ton of sweets, hoping that some of them would get diabetes so they wouldn't have such a kid problem. <laughs> I also donated him 5,000 baht out of my own money, not Patreon, just because he seemed like a really honest and helpful person and they got nothing but my respect. For a change of pace and as a walker first, I thought I'd give you a quick condo tour despite the fact that I'm not the biggest fan of condo tour videos. I find them boring and uncreative, but hey, each to their own, I guess. Meow, meow. Hello. Your tail has gone through the car, sir. Sir? That's worrying. <sighs> so, other than being bitten... <sighs> 300 times. This is where I'm staying, but I'll come back. Oh, I can see another little cat. Can we see the shad, the little silhouette of a cat? Can't be bothered to turn around. I'm already, I'm so tired. <laughs> Nearly 80 kilometers today. Now I'm doing a bloody condo tour. Although technically it's a tree house, so I still have my morals. Super cool farm. <laughs> Even Donnie would be jealous of this. Huh? Well, maybe 10 years ago. <laughs> Apparently this place, at least the tree house, was made 20 years ago where I'll be staying. And you know when fancy five-star hotels in Bangkok are more than four years old, it already becomes a little bit run down. So imagine a tree house with, that is 20 years old. So yeah, if you want to get tetanus, this is the slide for you. If I needed a, a wheelchair, that's the place for me. There's a a freaking horse. Yeah, I mean, obviously there's a horse in the middle of the, the place there. And I guess these are all rooms with kids in it. I'm just filming. Oh, God's sake. Well, all right. Hopefully I can't see very many kids, so don't arrest me, FBI. Casa de Ville, whatever this is. So let's go through here. You can experience uh, what I'm gonna experience tonight, I suppose. Yeah, there's a bar. If it was open, it would be good. Here's a, uh, don't know, here's a, uh, don't know. I'm assuming at one point here they had cakes. <sighs> okay. Now I'm assuming this is... Uh, nope. <laughs> okay, never assume, Chris. Anyway, right then, so let me take you on this guided tour of my place. It's not even just my place, this is a three-person shared Luckily, there's no one else here. I can't understand why. So, okay, no one in this this room. Uh, I got to get up these stairs. Uh, I've been up here three times, and I've yet to not hit this sign. So let's see if we can uh, not hit no nope, hit it again. 
we are luxury five star bathroom we've got washing up liquid as soap shampoo wipe your ass with oh and a, a scrubbing brush that looks quite new well that's a feature uh, <laughs> a bit dark it's a little bit you know, there's, a, there's a few bugs in there the key is for showering like that is to close your eyes finger the queen oh not the queen she's dead isn't it finger the king finger of england sing a song get in get out this is another person's room you can see they've got a an amazing picture of I don't know, water uh, we won't go in give them some oh there's no one in there but ah oh, don't drop the camera chris i've already knocked that one down oh well hopefully it won't fall on anyone's head we go up wait and here is wait jesus something else just went and here is casa de la chris we've got a fan uh we've got a bed oh and there's a little cupboard there which i opened the bottom drawer and something ran out so note to self don't open the bottom drawer i have a, a chair which has got all my stuff on it which nowhere to uh really charge there's a ton of these little what do you call them fairy lights all around the place I don't know where they plug in because I would steal the power. I'm assuming he's here. I've got the 360 charging at the moment. And your all important fan, which is cooling down the place. Uh, so let me show you the bedroom. Oi. Uh. Oi. Oh, I'm in. I'm in. Oh, there's already a mosquito in here. That's a good start. <laughs> Can't get them. So there we go windowless uh it's not even a blanket on the bed no way i can't uh, there's a horse outside so that pretty much makes up for everything um yeah and i am burnt to shreds anyway another day done might get the drone out in a minute and see if i can uh, entertain these children I'll give them 5,000 baht tomorrow. I've already spent 1,000 baht on food and drinks for them, so nothing else. Uh, they'll benefit from me being here, and I will stay awake all night, shit scared. I'll maybe do an update in the middle of the night. Uh, so yeah. Uh, <sighs> shit. You're leaving me and taking the kids. We don't have kids. What am I bloody going to do with a giant chicken? I don't care. Buy the damn island and don't contact me again until it's done. I miss my wife so much. Everything hurts. I don't know if I can do this cycling anymore.